Hi there, I'm Ken Lammers. Welcome to Minor League Matters. And today we're going to talk about uh, the logos in the Southern Professional Hockey League, the SPHL, which is across the South, obviously, and has some teams up north in Indiana and that. So with that, let's get cracking. Okay, so the Southern Professional Hockey League has uh, how many teams? Two, four, six, eight, ten teams in it. Um, and some well-established teams that are fun to go watch. Uh, it's it's actually a, a fun league. I've been to uh, Knoxville, Roanoke, uh, Fayetteville, Huntsville, and that's it so far. I may pick up some more in the future, but those that's where I've been to, and it's been fun watching them. Uh, now, as we look through these logos, some of these obviously have had a fairly good amount of work put in them, uh, deciding, you know, putting that logo together. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the cartoony logo, but, uh, you know, and you see the bear logo all over the place, or animal logos all over the place with the, uh, with the hockey stick in their hand and that. And the ice bear some, had, a, had somebody put some good work in putting that logo together, but just not a fan. I mean, it's uh, it makes for a pretty decent jersey, but it's just a little too cluttered, a little bit, you know, and the colors are a little strange. The purple colors are a little strange. The rail yard dogs, that's just too cluttered and not, not the greatest picture in the world. On top of which, when I went and watched the rail yard dogs this year, well, last year now, um, they had a really cool red jersey that said dogs, D-A-W-G-S, with a star on it because... They play in Roanoke, and they have this star that they're all proud of. Uh, and the lo that jersey was cool. And of course, they didn't sell that jersey anywhere, and I had just bought the jersey, the yellow jersey with this dog on it, uh, which I'm not terribly thrilled with. But I bought it because it was a uh, Virginia team, and I live in Virginia, and I wanted, uh, wanted a jersey from somebody here. Uh, Riverman... That's a good, solid logo. I like that one. It's simple. It, it distinguishes itself. It's easy to identify. It's good color scheme. It's, you know, a solid, solid uh, logo. The Making Mayhem, you know, it's another Viking with a, uh, with, with holding on to a hockey stick. Although this is apparently made of, you know, beat up uh, wood or something like that. Uh, you know, it's not necessarily a terrible idea, and uh, if they got somebody kind of more professional to put it together, it might look better. But uh, and the color scheme's not bad either. The red and blue is not a bad scheme. The Birmingham Bulls. Now that's, you know, that's just too abstract a logo. Nobody looking at that's going to know what that is. Uh, it's, you know, I'm sure they hired somebody to make that for them, and they kind of got ripped off. I mean, it, it's kind of like going to Indianapolis to watch the Indianapolis Indians play and going in and, and seeing their hats and stuff. Uh, really? You know, it's one of those, if you know what you're looking at, maybe you know what you're looking at, but generally you don't, and it doesn't work. The Marksman uh, out of Fayetteville. This is a team that was, until last year, until the end of last year, was the Fayetteville Fire Ants and had one of the coolest logos in all minor league hockey. Um, would have had a real shot here at being uh, my number one logo. Uh, and then they decided to change the name and change what it is. And, and the, the worst thing here is, you know, if it had been Marksman and it had been a bullseye or it had been, you know, this, you know, sights, uh, you know, the view through a uh, sight uh, or something like that, uh, you know, maybe that would make a little make sense. The Fox doesn't make a bit of sense with the Marksman thing. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Uh, and I'm not happy. That I can't, you know, I have one Fire Ants uh, jersey, I'll, but I can't wear it now because if I screw it up, how do I replace the dang thing? Uh, 
you know, it was a bad call. I'm sure it was marketing done to try to get more people in the door. Uh, I suspect that it hasn't accomplished anything. The Thunderbolts. Okay, that's Evansville Thunderbolts. Somebody drew that up for them. I am hoping that that wasn't professionally done. Uh, it, it is too cluttered. It's indistinguishable. You can't, you look at it, you can't tell what it is. You have to take a second to look, right? Uh, because, you know, the cloud around the, uh, around the plane, you know, over the shield and all that, it, it just does not work at all, right? It's not a good logo. Uh, the Huntsville Havoc. This is a pretty solid logo. Uh, I am not sure what the heck that beast is that's in the middle, it, it, you know. But the Havoc, uh, and I'm I may be a little bit prejudiced here because up until recently I was pretty sure the Havoc was the best minor league uh, hockey team I had been to, hockey event I had been to. Went and it was full, uh, full stadium. They were having a blast. Everything was right and lots of fans, right? Um, and recently, I had not seen that uh, re until recently I went to Cincinnati and the Cyclones had basically the same thing going on. But uh, Huntsville, that's a pretty good logo uh, with the critter in the side. And so then you get Pensacola Ice Flyers. I get that it's thematic with Pensacola and, you know, the military and all of what goes on in Pensacola. Uh, but it's just a little cluttered. It's hard to see that that's a plane in there unless you're, you know, really looking for it. Uh, the color scheme, again, blue, silver, blue, gray, you know, uh, it's not a good color scheme. It doesn't pop. It doesn't really work all that well. I'm surprised that it's popular as it is at times. Uh, so it's not, not a great logo. And then you get the uh, River Kings. And, um... It's a unique logo, and it's well drawn, and with the uh, you know Mississippi, it's got the M, it's got the uh, uh, you know the crown on top and all that. Uh, it's a good logo. It will stand out on somebody's chest, and uh, so I think that that's a pretty decent logo. So if we go from there, here's my choice of the top four, right? Now, we just talked about the River Kings. Again, it's a solid logo that uh, you can, uh, you know, it, it it's, stands out and all that and pops and it, uh, it has the crown on it and all that. Uh, and it will be unique on, uh, on a jersey. And it probably worked pretty well as to seeing what is on a jersey. Unfortunately, it's just one of those that you just... You look at it, and what does it mean, right? If you weren't, if you didn't already know what it was for, what it meant, uh, you probably wouldn't understand it. And I don't think it really is good identifier. So I'm gonna kind of let that one go. Uh, the marksman again. It's not a bad logo by itself, really. Uh, the marksman is you know, that fox is a decent logo. If they'd have called themselves the foxes, eh, that could be problematic. But you know done something that had to do with foxes or coyotes or you know something like that and use that logo it probably be pretty good but as it stands it's just not a good logo and the fact that they got rid of the doggone um, uh, fire ants logo which was solid really good uh, for this thing means no that leaves us with Huntsville Havoc and the Rivermen uh, both of which are good logos, which fit really well on a jersey, uh, easily identifiable, or at least the Riverman is really easily identifiable. I mean, it, it really is good themat thematically. It works works well. Uh, Huntsville Havoc, um, it works pretty good on a jersey, although whatever that thing is, that beast in the middle, it's not really identifiable. And... and so in the end, I think I come down to the best logo in the Southern Professional Hockey League is the Riverman's logo. Um, it's a just a good logo all around, easily identifiable, very thematic. It makes sense. It works, and uh, it's a very solid logo. 
uh, somebody put some thought into this and did it well. And I'm sure that that, uh, that uh, skyline on there is the skyline for the town and all that, right? Uh, and and it, that works out as a really good logo. And so that's it for the Southern Professional Hockey League. We hit the FHL yesterday. We hit the SPHL today. Tomorrow is going to be the ECHL with a lot more teams, and I'm not going to be able to cover them all as much as I have the, uh, the last two days. Uh, but we'll get there. And so, folks, I'm going to tell you what I say every time. Um, well, if you like this, hit like. If you got comments, put them down below. In the down below, I will try to read them all. I can't guarantee I will uh, write back because i got a day job, folks. And uh, just uh, remember, uh, you can subscribe if you want, but just remember, the most important thing, go watch some minor league sports. Y'all have a good day now.